Thomas Larsen and today I'm in the Pro Shop because another important part of my preparation for the PBA Tour is my arsenal. So today I'm going to look at uh, how to build the best arsenal for my trip in January and I'm going to drill a few new balls. Luckily, I already have six balls in the US that are going to be in Florida for the Players' Championship, uh, which makes it a lot easier to put together a good arsenal. Uh, so, the six balls I have there are a root cut, pin up with a pin over, and a phase two, pin under, idle, pin under. That's the idle I used for a large part of the USBC Masters. I have a idle synergy with a tall pin. I have a high road pearl, pin over, and a proton physics with, with a pin under. So that's a pretty good mix of six balls, pretty decent arsenal. So the six balls I'm gonna bring from home are gonna fill in the gaps there and be a mixture of the balls I think I need to have a good arsenal for the players championship and some balls that I feel like are just I'm gonna need for the rest of the tour that are just gonna be good out on tour in general. So when I think about my six balls in the US, the obvious one I'm missing is a shiny or a cleaner uh, asymmetrical. So I really, really like the RST X2. So that one's obviously going in the bag. I also really like the Rubicon UC2. And that one's been really good out on tour last year or this year. Um, so those two are gonna go in my bag. Then I'm looking at adding an alternative to the proton physics, stronger side of things. The obvious choice there is a reality, so that one's probably going in a bag too. Um, one big thing I'm missing too is a send. The send's been great everywhere, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a send for sure. Um, that would also play well against the synergy. Set being a little bit stronger but still a shiny symmetrical and then I have the phase 2 over there which is going to be my medium uh, benchmark ball like we all know but we're balling on 39 and 45 feet so I might need something that's a little stronger than the phase 2 and my first card here was Zen Master I really like the Zen Master and it's a little stronger than the phase 2 so that seems like a a good fit to put that in the bag too, giving me a little stronger symmetrical option than the phase two, and uh, I feel like those those five balls will fill out the uh, the rest of the arsenal pretty good. Um, and then I'm gonna pick six one later. But um, I actually don't have a send right now, so I'm gonna drill that one today. And I have a reality and a send master, but those two already have quite a few games on them. And I don't really want to bring an old ball to the PBA uh, that I feel like might be dead after uh, a couple weeks. So I'm going to drill a new reality and a new Zen Master today. And those are probably going to end up in my, uh, my bag for the trip. So I'm going to get drilling. So now all that's left to do is practice a little bit with the new balls, see what they do, how they react. And I'm also gonna show you uh, them compared to, to the old reality, to the old Zen Master, just so you can see uh, that what the difference is. It might not be a huge difference there is, but again, a couple of percentage points one way or the other can make a, a big difference in uh, my results out on tour. So I'm gonna throw them here on a fresh Tokyo pattern, 42 feet with a decent amount of oil. So um, they should match up pretty well, the two, uh, two strong balls, and obviously the Zen is going to strike on everything, so let's see. I feel like I'm lined up pretty well with the uh, new Zen Master now, so I'm going to throw a shot with the new one, then I'm going to try the, the old one, see how big the difference is. Pretty much the same thing with the old one. As you can see, it's not that there's a huge 
difference, but there's still uh, the old one's still a little bit slower than the new one, and definitely a little cleaner too. So there is a difference, and out on tour that difference might be the difference between shooting 251 game or 210. So that's uh, that's why we drill a lot of new balls. Now I'm going to try to compare the new reality to the old reality and see how big of a difference there is. So first up a shot with the new reality. That one looked pretty good, really early on this 42 foot pattern, but uh, still makes a good move on the back end. Now the old one. I got the strike. But you can see just how big of a difference there is between the old reality and the new reality. And um, the old reality is, I wouldn't say it's dead yet, it's just I drilled it uh, during the summer. So I probably already have, I don't know, a few hundred games on it. And you can see how big of a difference that makes on the lane. So, uh, on some wing conditions, the old reality is probably going to be better than the new one, but not here. I don't have an old scent to compare it to, but obviously you're going to get some shots of the new scent here. You can see how strong the scent is for a shiny ball. Obviously, it's a little too clean for this pattern as it's pretty fresh, but still, a lot of motion out of the set. This is the three new balls I just drilled. And one question you could ask is why do I need a new reality and a new set master when I already have those in my bag? And the answer is pretty simple. Uh, when we use bowling balls and we put games on them, uh, they, the cover stuff starts to wear down, starts to lose a little bit of efficiency. And it's not something that happens in a week, but with the amount I practice and the amount I bowl, I put a lot of games on, on my bowling balls really quickly. And uh, they lose some of the, uh, some of the efficiency, some of the hook some of the the uh, ball motion they have when they're brand new and it's not like they're they're dead yet or anything they just they've just lost just enough to where uh, to where I feel like I'm missing a little bit compared to if I have new ones and out on tour a lot of times it's not a matter of uh, of you being being good enough it's a matter of of the small margins, like 2% more here is the difference between making cut and missing it or making a TV show and finishing 8th or something, like just getting that one extra strike or breaking up one extra split in, in a couple games is a huge difference out to it. And uh, one of the only places where you can find um, improvements like that is with your equipment. You can you can always ball a little bit better, you can handle things better mentally, all of these things, but uh, if you can give yourself a little bit better ball motion for a little longer time, that fixes a lot of issues. And that's why I chose to, to drill new ones, because I want, when I go out on tour, I want to have fresh covers, the best performance in my bag I can absolutely have, so it's not a matter of of me missing out a little bit on what I have in my bag, but it's only a matter of me making the right decisions and the best possible shots I can make. So, so that's why I chose to drill new, uh, new balls to have fresh covers to have the most optimal performance when I go out on tour. Because we're talking so little margins when you're balling against the best in the world between being beating them and being beaten by them. So I have to give myself the best possible chance and that's what I'm doing right now.